My next guest takes on Devin Clark at the Ultimate Fighter Season 24 finale coming up here on December 3rd. Josh Stainsbury joins me here on the program for the very first time. Josh, how are you? Good, man. How are you? Thanks for having me on. No, thanks for, for joining me here. I know we got a UFC card going on right now, so I appreciate you taking some time out of uh, watching that and joining me here. And uh, let's talk about your UFC debut. I was there in Vegas uh, covering the event for Sportsnet. I uh, got a chance to speak with you after the fight. Obviously, a great win over uh, Corey Hendricks. Um, I got to know, how did you end up celebrating after that fight? Man, you know what? Uh, the big win. Finally got to take the walk to the uh, UFC cage, you know, and uh, definitely was excited. Got my hand raised at the end of the night and... Uh, Postponed my flight a little bit, stayed in Vegas till Monday, uh, celebrated with my friends and family, and definitely definitely felt like I finally got there, and uh, definitely felt good. Yeah, it was obviously a long road for you. Um, did you feel any jitters going in your debut? Because I know some guys kind of feel that way. You know what? As far as jitters, I kind of blocked that out and kind of prepared for that before I actually took the walk. I kind of pictured myself walking to the Uf- UFC cage you know, a thousand times, a million, million times, you know. So once I finally was able to take the walk, I mean, to, to say I had no jitters, I'd be lying. I definitely had a little bit of jitters, but I kind of had myself men- mentally prepared and uh, I was just excited and looking forward to taking that walk. And if anyone follows you on social media, you got a lot of positive feedback after the win. People very happy to see you finally get that UFCW. Uh, what was one comment, one uh, phone call, one text message that kind of stood out the most, uh, you know, congratulating you on your UFC debut uh, victory? You know what, just all the support from back home in East Liverpool, Ohio. I come from such a small town, and uh, just just the influence from not only the, the adults, but the kids um, on the wrestling teams and, and in and the local sports and stuff like that. It really meant a lot to me. I got to talk to a couple of uh, the local schools and stuff like that after I, after after my win about setting goals and uh, going in and reaching them and stuff like that. So I'd have to say that as a community, them having my back, I definitely felt like that. that's the most thing I took out of my first win in the UFC. And uh, where do you get your positive outlook from, man? You're always such a nice guy. I always see you smiling and things like that. What do you sort of attribute that to? Your upbringing? Like, wh- wh- how, do, how, do you so, how, how come you're so happy all the time? Man, I'm just an easygoing guy, man. I, I grew up tight-knit family. My mom and dad, I, I was raised raised right, you know, hardworking kid. And, uh, man, there's no reason. I, I like to have a good time, man. I, I'm good, laid back. When it comes fight time, I can flip the switch. But as far as have to walk around me mugging and stuff like that, that's just not who I am. You know, I get along with everybody. As long as you don't make me mad or one of them type of things, you know, I get along with everybody and uh, that's the way I kind of carry myself. And speaking of nice and uh, positive guys, let's talk about your opponent here, Devin Clark, uh, also a very respectful guy as well, too. He's a former RFA champion. Um, How do you sort of see yourself matching up against him in this fight? You know what? This is going to be a good fight for me, I think. Uh, My original opponent, um, Jake Collier, had to pull out due to injury and they called me uh, to match up with Devin Clark for my replacement and... uh, I looked him up. I kind of had him on my radar before I saw him. I'm looking for a fight and different things. So I kind of, kind of had looked at him. And, uh, you know, I feel like my skill set and my tools are going to be a super bad matchup for him. And uh, I'm looking forward to going out and putting on a show December 3rd. And does it add a bit more motivation? Uh, Clark's training at a great camp in, in Jackson Winklejohn. You know, he's, he trains with John Jones and guys like that. I mean, is there kind of a, does it add a bit more to the fight knowing that he's coming from such a good camp? I mean, that's, I understand you train at a good camp and whatnot, but, you know, I'm not fighting John Jones. I'm fighting Devin Clark, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you can train with who you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It might build confidence for him, but at the same time, I'm still looking at Devin Clark and the fighter that he is, and uh, I'm planning on going out and, and implementing my game strategy and my plan and uh, definitely walking away with my hand raised. Let's talk about your training camp. Who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Man, I, I train in East Liverpool, Ohio, thanks to Harry Stewart and a couple people that, that uh, backed me and got, got a gym here in East Liverpool for me. I have young kids. I coach wrestling and stuff like that. So to have a gym in my backyard, basically, you know, five minutes from my house is a huge help. And uh, I do a lot of cross training in Pittsburgh with uh, Adam Milstead and a group of guys up there. We uh, Mondays and Wednesdays up there in Pittsburgh are just brutal. You know, we, we have uh, big sparring sessions and stuff like that. So uh I didn't travel anywhere to train for this camp. I definitely am confident with training back here at home and uh, cross-training up there in Pittsburgh with them guys. This fight's December 3rd. How's the weight cut going? Are you a guy who has to cut a lot of weight to get down to 205 pounds? You know what? My last few fights, I haven't had no issues with making weight. Um, And I kind of credit a little bit of that to being part of the Ultimate Fighter and learning a lot about nutrition and stuff like that that I didn't know previously. And I learned a lot from my teammates, Khalil and Jamie Moore and a lot of them guys, Myron, who kind of helped me out with my diet and stuff. And I was able to take notes and I brought a lot of that back home and, uh, my last couple weight cuts at 205 have been super easy. I'm walking around at 210 right now, healthy, eating good, hydrated, and uh, definitely feeling good and excited, ready to go into December 3rd. And who are some of the people you still keep in touch with the most from the cast of The Ultimate Fighter? Because I know, you know, being in a house for that long, you develop some really close friendships. Man, I still talk to a good bit of the guys. Uh, 
you know, uh, Khalil and Myron, we, we definitely stay in touch. I probably talk to them guys once a week, you know, and uh, with the girls, I know uh, JJ Aldridge and Ashley Yoder just fought on Invicta last night. And they both got a W. So that I was, I was happy to see that. And uh, just staying in contact with all of them, you know, Tatiana, she still, uh, I, she always has good advice for you and stuff like that. She was one of my closest friends in the house, even though she was on the other team, she was always really good to talk to and a good, she always had good advice and stuff like that. And give me, give me different uh, things to look at while I was in the house and stuff like that. Kind of kept things in perspective, perspective and kept my eye on the prize and stuff like that. So yeah, I stay in touch with a lot of them. Now we got Thanksgiving coming up next week. Are you going to kind of just put all the turkey in the freezer, kind of wait till the fight's over and then sort of celebrate Thanksgiving? How are you doing that this year? Yeah, I'll be able to nitpick a little bit, man. I can't pass my mom's cooking up too much, man. It's, <laughs> it's just too good. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to hold it together. And uh, you know, you don't want to put sugar in the gas tank at this point and uh, just kind of stay focused and maintain. And then we'll do all the celebrating after December 3rd. And speaking of December 3rd, I got to get a prediction for this fight. How do you envision this fight ending uh, as far as a prediction goes? You know, as far as the, as far as the fight, you know, I'm going to go out, stick to my game plan, slow the fight down. I'm sure he's going to try to push the pace, but uh, I definitely see myself getting my hand raised. I, I'm actually predicting a knockout in this one. I think I'm going to be able to seal the deal, stop his takedowns, and uh, and definitely land something to, to to end his night. All right, last question for you here. I'm sure you're a guy who watches Netflix. You know, kind of relax, kind of break up the monotony of training. What's something you're watching right now on Netflix? Man, you know what I. It's kind of tough. to. I, I like all kinds of movies. I'm more like a comedy type. I don't like too many serious movies, you know, get into my emotions too much. I don't like that. But, uh, you know, I, I sit back, chill, just watch whatever's good, you know, uh, watching Ultimate Fighter that season and stuff like that right now. So uh, just kind of hanging out. I don't get too much TV time with, with the little ones. I'm usually watching, you know, Henry Danger or some cartoon, you know, keeping them guys happy. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're certainly looking forward to this fight. December 3rd, it's the Ultimate Fighter 24 finale. Josh, can't thank you enough for joining me here on a Saturday. Where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you've got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Yeah, man, I'd like to thank everybody from East Liverpool, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, the kids, everybody that supported me from day one. You know, uh, I, I can't give them guys enough credit. And uh, as far as social media, uh, Sam Man Stands on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Josh is Sam Man Stansberry. Check me out, follow me, give me a shout out. I appreciate all the love and support, man.